Hello everyone and welcome to another video with me 320 Simpilot and today a short little uh, helper guide for those of you using the Thrustmaster TCA throttle quadrant uh, the Airbus officer pack otherwise known as with the Aerosoft CRJ. I had a few uh, issues setting it up initially and there's a few things we must do to make sure it works properly so today I'm just going to very quickly take you through that and uh, get this uh, airplane powered up and up in the sky for us so yeah it's uh, it's Tricky uh, at first because I couldn't get the thrust thrust levers to move at all um, with my default bindings and I will show you how I managed to resolve that. We're here in Jersey obviously in this lovely livery by Paddy and we are going to jump in the flight deck. Here we are on the flight deck. So the problem me and I imagine you have been having is that uh, the thrust levers do not move as you move your uh, physical throttles on your Thrustmaster TCA uh, throttle quadrant. So um, at the moment we're in cold and dark, so they're in shut off, so they won't move either way. So don't panic about that. Um, but there's a way to check whether you've got things set up properly. Go to options, then on the uh, iPad, which you can just click to turn on, then next page, calibrate throttle. Now you'll see here, my throttle axis has a raw input data and you can see them moving. First of all, you need to make sure you select dual axes. It will by default show single and you'll only see one information here. Make sure you select dual and you select a thrust hardware has reverse axes because you do it's on the same axes for us but that's fine so we can enable the thrust reverses which just gives us this extra detent but you may find as i did that no information is coming through here so when i went to click set i was just getting a figure of 9999 and there is a reason for that you must go to press escape go to controls choose the correct thing so that is the tca uh, engine so we've got the nice picture here what I would do is create a new profile to do that. So I have different profiles here. I've got my profile for normal aircraft. I have my profile for the A32NX and it's important for the uh, reason that you're going to mess up some of the settings otherwise that you might be used to. So to create a new profile, click preset manager, duplicate. And when you click duplicate, it asks you to create a new profile. So I put the name in there as CRJ or whatever I want. Okay. So create a new profile, name it as the CRJ or whatever you want to call it. Then you need to uh, go to filter assigned. And if you look at your power management and you can collapse or it's in power management throttle, you will probably see instead of it saying throttle one axis, it will say throttle one axis uh, was zero to 100%. So I'm going to show you the issue there. If we go to all, I'll collapse all and power management, you'll see that for throttle, there's actually two different options here and it's a bit daft, I don't know why. And by default, my TCA was set to throttle one axis zero to 100. So I had this joystick L axis um, assigned to this one, throttle two axis zero to 100. So take a note of which one it is, but I can show you here actually. You want to uh, clear out the zero to 100 and then you want to go to throttle two axes, not the zero to 100%, the throttle two axes, you can click on it and then select joystick L axis Y. Okay, joystick L axis Y for throttle two axes. Do not tick reverse axis, it isn't. Um, keep it the normal way around. Then do the same for throttle one. So your throttle one is probably assigned to this one, throttle one axis zero to 100. That's no good. Clear that one out. Go up to throttle one axis and select joystick L axis X and validate that and uh, once you've done that it will say apply and save you can apply and save and now you're good and now you know when i move my throttles i see that so that's my idle detent that's my reverse range and there we go so that is how my throttles are set up my sensitivity is like this uh, which is the default sort of sensitivity it comes with um yeah i'm not entirely sure i'm happy with that i'm, I'm gonna maybe fiddle with sensitivity but for now that's just the default sort of profile it, it comes out with so Throttle one axis, throttle two axes. It sounds obvious, but like I say, you probably, it by default, we're on zero to 100%, which does not work. Now we can go back to our flight. Now come back into your iPad and you should see the data changing. So then what you do is set your thrust levers all the way forward to the toga and click set on each engine. Then bring it back one step and set again, which is probably zero. Then bring it back another detent and click, click set for climb. Then bring it back to idle and set each side for idle and finally bring it through to max reverse and set again. 
I left these values here as default. That seems to work well. This is a gap so that when you have your, I'm using the detents of course in the Thrustmaster TCA. So the same setup as I have it for the Airbus because the CRJ does have detents. Uh, you've got little detents down here. Now it doesn't use them in the same way, but we do have idle. We have climb, toga, max power. So for takeoff, the most you'd go to is toga. I don't think we go to max power for takeoff in the CRJ. So we don't really need that, that full forward th uh, detent. So I may change things around a bit. Oh, I'm going to experiment, but there we go. So uh, you want to click each of these for each engine in each detent, leave the gap here because this just helps it so that there's a bit of a buffer so that it, you're, you know, that you can see that that's my climb detent. And as I wobble the thrust levers, there's a bit of movement. So if you had that, that variation, it stops it causing a problem. Uh, and then click OK, or sorry, click validate and OK. And uh, there you go. And now if I click up, you still got to click the thrust lever. Uh, so click the red lever to lift it over, then bring it forward to idle. And then that comes down. And now you'll see that it, uh, it works and it transits, transits exactly as I'd expect it to with each of the detents. Like I say, maybe I'll fit with that in the future. Uh, and then you should find you have working uh, thrust levers, which is great. So hopefully that's useful for you. It's something that definitely caught me out when I first tried to uh, get going in this airplane. So that's all for today's video. Like I said, just a quick little uh, helper on that aspect, something that definitely was causing me issues and took me a while to resolve. So uh, yeah, hopefully that helps some of you out there using the uh, Thrustmaster Airbus TCA thrust levers with the CRJ. But once you've done that, you'll find that it works quite nicely and you get nice independent control of each of the engines. Plenty more videos on the CRJ, live stream with the CRJ coming uh, later on today. And uh, yeah, there'll be plenty more Airbus guides, tutorials and streams on the channel. So do please subscribe if you like this sort of content. And we'll see you again in another video soon. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.